I actually did my hair today. I'm proud of myself. See, the worst part is it doesn't even take that much effort. I used to put a lot of effort into it. Okay, like, I mean, I, I got an afro when I don't do my hair. That's why I keep the hat on. You, you guys have seen it before. If you haven't seen it before, you can just look up Jeb hair, Jeb afro. I don't fucking know. It's a lot to keep under control. But I have worn that hat for, shit, a month now. Probably more than that, actually. I'm so sorry for not doing my hair. It's a common complaint. I didn't think that would be a normal complaint, but it is. So here we are. Amazing. I, I actually, I have to apologize for not doing my hair. I love all of my subscribers. Jump one more time, baby. Fuck. Uh, out of this game. Bunch of sweaties on Black Ops 1. How old is this game? Just trying to chill when I get onto a game like this. I just want to beat up on people that don't have thumbs. You know what I'm saying? Is that too much to ask? I'm shit. So today, the, uh, the Destiny reveal or gameplay reveal trailer thing came out. And it surprisingly didn't show, in the trailer itself, a good amount of gameplay. Which was kind of weird, but whatever. It showed gameplay during the entire event. It was like an hour long or so. It was really cool shit. It basically, it looks like the first Destiny with a lot of its, uh, you know, original problems fixed. Or at least are offering some sort of, you know, alternative. Coming up with ways where soul players can actually end up playing with teams and clans and shit to make your own clan on the thing and i guess design your own logo or whatever if it's an actual custom logo thing where i guess if you know people make vaginas and penises and stuff as their banner we could totally do like just a phase logo if you could somehow stamp your clan logo on like a cape or something like an exotic cape or something that you can get you just like see a whole bunch of people at the tower well i don't know if you're actually at the tower since everything's destroyed now but the tower used to be the place where everybody would stand around at the thing that the call of duty headquarters is based off of or at least that's what most people would compare it to there's been a million things that are like that but you know what i'm saying He is, are you serious? A lot of people are asking if I'm going to play Destiny 2 since, you know, I didn't really upload, you know, the first Destiny onto my channel. I don't know if I even uploaded it a single time. But I stopped playing the first Destiny very, very early into the game. Like, I think before even the first DLC ended up coming out, I don't even know what my light is. I really doubt that my light is even over a fucking hundred or something. And on top of that, I played it on Xbox, not on PlayStation, so I'll be starting completely over, especially if I was going to be playing with the Grind Squad. Because they were all talking about, you know, something else that they can play leading up to, you know, the new Call of Duty anyway. And obviously, you know, if we like it, it's something good to just, you know, fall back on whenever Call of Duty's pissing you off, right? Now, my thing is that I kind of really wanted to play it on PC because I imagine a game like this would be 10 times better on PC, and it's backed by Blizzard. Some people think that's a good thing, some people think that's a bad thing. But me, it's a good thing that it would keep a lot of people from cheating, because Blizzard is usually, like, way on top of that kind of shit. But then, you know, there's other things that could, you know, be variables in there, so I don't know. I really refuse to get the PC version and the console version, so I'm probably just gonna stick with the PlayStation version, I don't know. I didn't have a problem playing the game on console before, so why the fuck not? Papa Girth 97. I actually hate myself. So yes, I will be playing Destiny 2. I may upload it at the start. I don't know. It really depends how much, you know, people will enjoy the whole thing. Uh, I feel like Destiny is a game that you definitely need to be playing with other people. So I probably would have to, you know, incorporate other people in the background, you know, that I'm playing with. I don't know if people over at the phase house, you know, are going to be getting the game or not. But if they are, I mean, I'd be down to make videos with them as well. Because by the time that game comes out, which I think is September, I'll already be moved into a new house. Hopefully anyway, I don't want to speak too far ahead, but I should be moved into a house by then and I can have everything set up the way that I exactly need it to be set up. Because right now, the the way that I make my videos and like where I spend a lot of my time throughout the day is it's all over the place. But getting this house and having everything set up and I can do everything that I want. I don't have to worry about disturbing people in the middle of the night at all. All the time that I spend sitting here and all the shit that you guys don't see behind the scenes. All the stupid ass conversations and things that happen. I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to be recording at all times because that is a lot of work that does take up a lot of space. And I'm just not used to that. I'm not that kind of content creator. But I want to at least try, you know, some videos with other people in the background and stuff. I think it makes it more interesting. Obviously, I'm not going to be changing all my, you know, my content as a whole. Obviously, I'm going to be having videos like this more often than anything, but videos with friends and the people that I'm playing with is definitely, they're really, those in my opinion are a lot more entertaining to, you know, watch instead of just seeing one person talk the entire time. Plus, it adds some variety, which is something that, you know, my channel has needed for a really long time, so. If I did do videos where, you know, people were talking in the background, it would not be nearly, like, maybe once every four, five, six days, something like that. Unless you guys really enjoyed them, you know, and asked for more, 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 and they got, you know, the support, and I could do it, because a couple times that I did do videos with people talking in the background. It wasn't Destiny, it was just playing, I think, Search and Destroy with Rain and everybody. They did very, very well. And it might be because they're very unique. And maybe after a while, people would get tired of something like that. But this whole thing opens up new doors for me. On top of that, the streaming aspect, possibly. I'm just saying, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not guaranteeing it. But it just, you know, it allows me to do a lot more. On top of that, my vlogs could be more interesting since, you know, I'm walking around my own house and I don't have to, like, worry about walking around people and feeling awkward about it. Not already running around in there and stuff and just, you know, going to do things. And there's a lot more things in the area so I don't have to drive 40 minutes for all 
all this kind of shit. I know a whole bunch of people, whenever a YouTuber changes anything, they always say, oh, you know, I miss this time. I miss this period. There are actually people who, let's say, I miss when Jeb's eyebrows were really big and bushy, or I miss when Jeb's hair was shorter, or I miss when Jeb had his Astros on, or I miss the black Astros Jeb. Those are real things. Those are actual complaints. People actually feel like the person in content changes when those small things change. And I already know as soon as I get into the new house with a different background or something, people are going to be like, everything's different. It's completely changed. I miss the Amish beard Jeb is my favorite one. It's still me. I'm not going to completely switch anything up, obviously, if everybody hates it or something, you know what I'm saying? But I'm 23 years old. I'm going to be 24 this year. Moving out is just something that a lot of people do. These are literally the best years of my life. Everything that's after YouTube will definitely never live up to all of these years that I have spent here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I just, I do really, again, just really appreciate it. And uh, yeah. That's about it. I think, I, yeah, I'm done. I didn't mean to get mushy at the end, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My most recent videos are popping up on the screen here. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. Later.